Hi dearest, how are you doing? So today we're going to be making a fascinator without molding. But before we get into that, let's see who won the game challenge in this video. And that is Nandlin Products. Okay, congratulations. Please do contact us in the link below the Ventcraft Academy reception and do request for your gift over there. And let's get into today's training. So we'll be needing our scissors, measurement tape, Volstick gum, your Ankara, or any other material, but in this case, I'm making use of this pretty Ankara material. And I'm going to make use of my crinoline, the seven width inch crinoline, Alice band, needle, and thread. Remember, the thread has to be matching to the color of the materials you are using my pad this is the thickest part that is like cotton okay we won't make use of cotton because cotton if you wear it during the raining season that is gone but with this you're still very much okay and a plate or a circular object as big as you want your fascinator to be and our bio so the first thing you want to do is take your pad padded wording interfacing and use your barrel and draw out the circle with your circular object. Once you're done with that, you take your scissors and you cut it out. Keep watching and learning. The next thing to do is to get our midpoint. So what I do is I fold my circular interface or wording into two halves. Okay, and I use my biro to mark the two ends. I turn the other side and fold it also and I draw my lines. Keep watching and learning and see how I get this done. Step on one side of um, the line, I'm going to measure 0.5 on both sides. Okay, you see that line that it's drawn? I'm measuring 0.5, and I'm going to take my ruler and draw from that point all the way down to the midpoint that I have just located. Once that's done, I will take my scissors and cut those two lines. Keep watching and learning. step you take your circular object and your barrel and trace out a circle once more but in this case there's going to be a difference you know the anchor we're going to be making use of it to cover the wording that we have just cut so what we're going to do is we're going to measure one inch from that circle that we drew we're going to measure it out and cut it out round but actually i think i finally made use of 0 0.5 inch ahead and not one inch the one inch was a bit too big so keep watching and learning. Actually, it was my first try of confession, <laughs> but it turned out well. So <laughs> let's keep on. Then you cut it out at that extra inch. You have put it all the way round. Okay, so this is it. So I have two pieces of this and also I have two pieces of the wording cut out to like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is to stick it to the wording to cover it up. Now I'm going to be making use of my ever stick gum in this instance with a brush. Okay, 
If you gain any value from this video, please do give me a thumbs up. Okay, so once you spread out your Evo stick on it, you can take your Ankara and just drop it on top like so. And straighten it all out with your hand. Either you do it this way or you can put your Evo stick gum just at the edges of the warden. This is what I did for the second one. And place your Ankara and smoothen it on top of the warden. Keep watching and learning. Now the next thing to do is to cut it in the middle, the Ankara, you cut it in the middle like so because you're going to be folding it to cover up the um, wording like so. Can you see how I'm bending it? So I'm going to put in my glue all around but before I do that I notch it. Now why I notch it, cutting it like how I'm doing it at the corners is so that it will fold in smoothly and not have um, some, uh, be smooth rather all round. Okay, keep watching and learn. Okay, so you either put the elbow stick on the warden and then you fold it to close up. That's one step. Or you put the elbow stick on the material itself and fold it in to close up. Okay, next we're going to cut two pieces of wording and this is 1.5 by 4.5 and we'll cut an Ankara to cover it up and it's 3 by 6. Okay, so now I'm going to be using my, uh, what do you call it, ever stick gum to glue it like so. Okay, so once that's done, I would take that small piece that I've made, where the Ankara is, the back of it, I'm going to be putting my Evo stick gum on it. Now this is going to be used to close up that small part we cut out from the circle. Just watch how I do it. You see, I put it together like so, and I join it up together like so, okay? So that's how we're going to do to the two pieces. Remember, we have two pieces of this, so we're going to do the same on the two pieces. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to take the piece that's going to be at the back. Okay, so that the back is going to be the part that has the Ankara covered on. And I'm going to sew my Alice band to it before I glue the two pieces together so it covers up the sewing. Okay, so I've already made the rows with the crinoline that we cut out. I used them three inches to do this rows. I will drop the link below because I've made the um, this rows before in a previous video. So I'll drop the link below in the description of this video if you don't know how to make the crinoline. Big rows. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm sewing it to the top part. Now that's to cover up all the sewing. You see, I sewed the Alice band to the under part and now on the top part, I'm sewing the design already to it. So keep watching and learning. To ensure you're not missing out on any of our videos, you need to click that subscribe button and also the bell so you get notified when I upload new trainings and you'll be able to follow through on further training. Once you have sewn it well, um, the next thing is to do is to take the other part to cover it. Now I decided not to use my Evo stick, I will use my hot glue gun. But when using your hot glue, you have to do it bit by bit because it dries easily. If you want to know about which glue to use for what and how, which glue is the best and all that, I have another video. I will put that in the link below in the description of this video. Once that's done, the next thing to do is to cover up the sewing on the Alice band and we have our lovely fascinator without molding. What do you think about the fascinator? Do let me know in the comment section below. And for staying with me to the very end of this video, this is the game challenge for today. So how many yards did I make use of in making the crinoline rose? 
I would be choosing someone in random, just one winner, and that person would attend the Vencraft Academy Fascinator Class 1 for free. So till we meet next time, it's goodbye and God bless.